The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out our show like we always do with the German DAX. As you can see, we've made a beautiful 61% retracement, a Gartley pattern. If you notice that small pattern that just completed, that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 expanding triangle, which is included in the 1, 2, 3 drive to a top pattern. A lot of stuff up in here on the NASDAQ, uh, excuse me, the the, um, <laughs> the, the, the DAX that uh, makes it look like it's uh, going to go lower. One of the things that I looked at this week was the fact that, uh, you know, the market has been so strong based on it looks like the things that Bill Meridian talked about with the really strong bias between March 15th and April 15th. And, of course, we're coming into the last part of that right now, but it's been very, very strong. I went down and looked at the smaller time frames over the last two weeks, and we see some patterns there that certainly give an indication it's due for a correction. There might even be one down day. You realize, folks, that the month of April has already preceded more gains than the whole month of March. That in itself is an outlier event, but the market has been very strong, so we need to pay attention to that. Uh, the next one I wanted to focus on comes from our friend across the pond, Mr. A.S. over there in the U.K., and he's bringing to our attention the fact that we have a really nice, uh, hold on here. Yes, Marshall, it was a wonderful time. We sure did. Uh, <laughs> I should tell that story, but I, I'll save that for another day. We were at uh, lunch with Marshall, and they were talking about old things, and the folks there said, you ought to share this with the folks. And it's not related to trading. It's about the racetrack, but I guess it's money management. Let's look at this uh, U.S. oil chart, folks. Um, this is we're right at the 61% retracement here in the crude, uh, right around that 63.90. We've only been up to 63.65. That might be enough. Uh, so we pay attention here to crude oil because we're we're running out of time on the long side here. And now the news is extremely bullish in crude oil. We're looking at a p potential Libya problem again and fighting ag again the Gulf. And yet the market is, uh, you know, barely able to stay above ground. But uh, it's a big 61 percent retracement with some other patterns in there that are very, very important. Folks, one of the questions that I received over the weekend is about uh, trading times. Uh, you know, when I trade, you know, I, I look basically my, my key one to look at, of course, is the four hour chart because that lets you see about six weeks of everything that you want to look at. I, I look at the dailies, of course, too, because that goes a little bit farther back. I don't look at weeklies and monthlies. Very often, once a week, usually on the weekend is all I do because I'm focusing on risk and I want to be able to see. Uh, OK, Mr. Z is asking why. He thinks that I think that he is running out of steam. Well, I'll put my chart up here, Mr. Z, and you can poke holes in it if you like, but that's okay. I get holes poked in most of the stuff that I do. So here it is. We'll get up here and we'll take a quick look here at the crude oil. Uh, there's, there's what we're looking at. We had the three drive pattern back there. Uh, uh, that was the double, first of the double bottom. We had a beautiful double bottom. Also, just very, very close to the 61% retracement. It went about 80 cents a barrel uh, below it. Now we're right up against it. Uh, 63.85 uh, is the exact 61% retracement from the triple uh, top that we made up there. You see the 135 pattern. And if you remember, and if you remember, and look at that on the weekly chart, that number of $77 a barrel was an exact 61% retracement of the high that we made two years ago. So that, excuse me, four years ago. So that is why that number is so important. Now, we, we don't have a lot of clear patterns coming in here uh, in the crude oil right now, but it does have some things that tell us there should be some pretty strong resistance up here at that $64 a barrel. So uh, that's just my opinion, and as we know, opinions are like armpits, 
Everybody has one, and it usually fails. The next question that someone had was about the gold. I sent a video out last night, or excuse me, uh, early Sunday, uh, talking about the fact that it looked like a gold was trading at 1298, and it looked like it had 1308 written all over it. There were just all kinds of really nice patterns in the gold at that time, and it was showing that it had a pretty good uh, indication of making uh, – that level if it were going to do it. Now, I will try to find it if I can, and by golly, and by golly here, whoops, that's not it. I thought I had it, but that's not the way the trading gods want it today. It uh, doesn't look like I have it right now, but maybe I'll have it in the future. I'll try to find it. Uh, but anyway, it was 12, uh, 1308 was a number. Uh, it was a beautiful ABCD pattern, it's, and the number for the 61% retracement on that gold comes in at 13. 09, 13, 10. That's why it looks, uh, you know, so very, very interesting. So we'll we'll watch that one uh, extremely carefully. Now the platinum. Platinum looks like it's making a three drive to a top pattern, up around the uh, nine uh, fifth. Well, it's already gone about nine fifteen. Between nine fifteen and nine twenty four, uh, we've been as high as nine twenty two, I believe today. But you know that you know could go a whole lot higher. We don't know. It's got a chance. There's no question about that. So let's just keep an eye on these. Now, be uh, well, no problem, Mr. Z, but, you know, I certainly appreciate all the work you do, and I know you've been long gold. I saw that last night, and I said, well, that looks like a really good one, and it's already made the, the objective that I was looking for, which was 13, 1308. But whether we'll see if it goes much higher than that, you know, we'll have to remember. Remember, it was a really good bias here in the metals, because as we pointed out to you uh, on Friday, uh, we were looking at silver, and if you look at really closely, we had that double top back in January and February, then we had the move down, then we had the Gartley pattern up to the 61% retracement up there at, at 1560, then we came down to uh, 1485, uh, that was 11 days down from high to high, uh, the first one between the 19th of February and the 6th of March was equal to the high between the 20th of March and into April the 5th, which was 11 days down, which was pretty much uh, spot on. And we've gotten above 1520 today, taking out last week's highs, which is a uh, very positive thing. Now, it hasn't run away to the upside, but at least it's completing that pattern and should have more of a rally. The last time we had a 11 days down, the market rallied from $15 an ounce up to 1560. It rallied $3,000. If it's going to do that this time, it's going to take it up to around 15, 15, 50, which would be an equal rally. So we're watching for repetition in these markets because they repeat over and over again, and they do so with a probability that is predictable. And that's why pattern recognition is a very good way to look at the markets because it's putting numbers before anything else. And believe me, folks, I do not know anything about the, the fundamentals. I want to talk about that a little bit when we get back for the break because uh, several of the, of the emails that I got over the weekend were relating to the fundamentals on certain markets. And, you know, I really have to, <clears throat> I really have to disassociate myself from fundamentals because my whole premise of these markets is uh, it's in the chart. If it's going up, more buyers. If it's going down, more sellers. That's all you need to know. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, someone asked me if I had, uh, you know, I've got 10 rules on this oil painting behind my uh, office here, but uh, what would be the one rule that uh, I would always use, uh, you know, to keep you from getting into trouble? And, of course, you know, using stops, I think, would be pretty good, but, you know, some people can trade without stops, which I do at certain times. When the market's really critical, I, you know, and, and, and especially if I'm over leveraged, you know, I'll have my stops in there. But the one thing that I remember from back in my days at the Merck, when I first went back there in, um, in February of 1982, uh, Barry Lind, who we had cleared all of our hogs and cattle through uh, Lind, uh, and Lind and Company, uh, Win Lind Waldock. And so I was very familiar with Jack Waldock, who was a retired uh, hog farmer out of uh, Ohio. And uh, Barry, of course, I knew we were the same age. And uh, Barry, you know, knew I was coming in from uh, California and I was only going to be there for a short time. And he had me up in his office and he said, what can I do to make your stay here in Chicago fun and profitable? And I said, I'm not going to have any trouble with the fun part. I said, but the one thing you could do is if, if I have a losing position on my equity run on the morning of the third day, I would like to have your firm take me out so I don't even have to think about it. And he says, we can program that without any problem at all. And so over the next several years when I was there, it happened four or five times. And each time, if I would have just reversed those trades, it would have been huge, huge wins. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't do that. But it was a very good rule to have. Pattern recognition usually works right away. And by right away, I mean usually within a few bars. If it's, you're doing daily bars, usually, a, you know, a daily bar. But if you're, uh, if you're going to stay with something and you're in the loss after the fourth day or the fifth day, it's really devastating, folks. And the reason why is it's not so much the money. It's the mental anguish that you have to go through is when you try to, you know, uh, second guess or rationalize your trade. Well, it was a really good sale at 303, and here it is at 306, and wow, here it is at 309. You know, that that's suicide, because now you're starting to second-guess yourself, and so it's better to just take yourself out of the market. One other thing that you really should do is if you ever do get one of those hated things that you happen to have once in a while, and that is a margin call, don't liquidate the trades that are making money. Get rid of the trades that are losing money. 
Take care of your losers. The profits will take care of themselves. This is stuff right out of Jesse Livermore's book because uh, it's all about uh, risk control. And, and, the, and the one thing that you should never do, never, 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 and that is add to a losing position. You just, uh, it's just a suicide thing to do, and the reason for it is the fact that you're not only adding to a losing position and increasing your risk exposure, but your analysis is flat out wrong. That's even more important. So remember, if it's a good buy at six, it's a better buy at five, it's a better buy at four. And that goes back to the old questions from Jesse Livermore. Good buy house, good buy boat, good buy car, good buy wife. So uh, remember, it's a friendly hello and a goodbye, but you don't want to get uh, messed up in that. Now, we're rallying here in the crude oil. This is going to – here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about, folks. We're looking at a price here in crude at 63.95, and we're trading at 63.66. 63.95, as I posted just a little while ago when we were chatting with Mr. Z – that 63.95 is the 61% retracement exactly uh, of that last high that we made. So we're going to find out if it's going to be right or not, but uh, that's what we're watching. Hold on here. We might have a question calling in. You're still seeing the silver chart, and that is because I am talking about something totally different. And I'll put this the uh, crude oil chart back up here so you'll be able to see it here. In fact, what I should do, yes, I'm going to oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. That didn't work out the way that I wanted. Hold on, boys and girls. Uh, just give me a second here. I pressed the wrong button here. Hold on here. Now I'm gonna. What I'm going to do here, uh, you're, you're, there, you should be in uh, July crude, I believe. I, isn't that July? Is the 60 trading at 6360? Is it? It should be. It, it should be July, I think. But uh, someone double check that for me because I, I can't pull that up right now. But uh, which of the contracts is trading at 6360? Uh, I think it's July, but. Uh, well, we'll take a look. All right, let's 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 pull up here. Uh, since we're talking about crude oil, I want to bring to your attention because crude follow, well, all these things follow Fibonacci numbers some of the time, but not all the time. But if we take a look here at the long-term weekly chart of crude, I'll get this up here, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when we were hitting that level up at 77. We'll get it up here so we can, there we go. We're going to be in good shape right here. Oh, my goodness. We, this is Mother God and Country today, boys and girls. You don't get to see stuff like that. You can't make it up. That's for sure. All right. Let's get this down here a little bit. And there we go. Now, I'm just going to get it up here so we can see it. This will be the weekly chart. It is June. Thank you very much, Marshall. Uh, if you'll notice here, uh, we are, we're, this is the June crude at 63.63. We're within a heartbeat of that number. Uh, we're up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six days in this run, and uh, the low we made, of course, um, was back a little bit farther, and we'll see if that's going to mean anything. The, um, the Mr. Z is asking if I rebought the euros. Uh, I I was going to this morning, Mr. Z, but I bought the gold instead, and I was doing something else because I had a computer problem. But the euros are at a really critical level. Um, the reason why is we went down and we went below that 1200 level and we got as low as 1185 and didn't go down. And with that dollar index setting right at the 78% level, it looked like it had. I still think the euro's not out of the woods yet, but uh, we're at a real critical level now in the euro as we come in here at 112.65. That's 80 pips up off the bottom, which is the harmonic number. In the euro so that'll be a real interesting one to talk now we haven't had much of a big rally but it stopped going down so there's a big fight going on over in that euro which is uh, reflected in that u.s dollar index trading near that uh, 97 level but it hasn't none of these neither one of these has broken out in either direction for sure that's a key thing to look at when we get back from the next break we'll take a look at some of these currencies because uh, they are at a critical level that well they should be because they've been here at the same level here for three or four weeks so there's not much uh, not much else is going on there so we'll watch it but the key ones today from my opinion are the uh, the crude oil up here where we are right now and also uh, another one is what's going to happen to treasury bonds because I believe we've made a major top in those bonds at that 150 level. Uh, we're trading at uh, 147 and change right now. 
and I believe that we've got a chance here for a little bit more of a rally, and then they're going to take a flying Melinda to the south side of the trading floor and go a lot lower. That's the way it looks like from this uh, section, so we'll see. Okay, someone's saying your show on Monday is a good way to start the week. Well, I should start it on Friday. Who knows? Okay, that'll be a double. Thank you, Mr. Uh, David. I appreciate all the all the stuff that you send me. It's really great information, and I, I certainly appreciate it. David White's got some great – everybody at the TFNN. I mean, Tom's got some really, uh, really smart people in this group here. I'm uh, – I'm the last one down on the ladder, but boy, you've got Basil and Steve Rhodes and David White and Tom and Tommy. I mean, there's some really smart folks. All right, let's take a little break here. We'll get back. We'll talk a little bit more about the currencies. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we were chatting about the euro here. Just one second, and I will update the chart, and then I want to uh, uh, see if I can get this updated. Wow, it did. Okay, there we go. Here's what we're looking at in the euro. Give me a second, and I'll bring this up so you can take a look at it. We made that double bottom down there in the uh, in the euro, and you'll notice here where we are right now is we're completing this uh, ABCD pattern, 
uh, that we've got, this is a four hour chart so this is over the last few days you'll notice on Sunday night we opened around 112.10 we rallied about 60 pips and so that's going to be the first ABCD correction in this thing and the 61 or the, the 382 rally off of that low would take you in at 112.85 so I would be watching 112.85 in the euro, that's 100 pips off the bottom. Whether that's going to be the case or not, you know, we'll have to wait and see. We've seen the dollar index over the past uh, weeks. We know pretty much what it's doing. Well, we think we know what it's doing. We never really know for sure. But let's just look at this U.S. dollar uh, together because it's a uh, it's an interesting chart because of where we are uh, technically. And this is what we were talking about with Mr. The Mr. Z uh, just a few minutes ago. You notice we were up against that. 78% level again. That was the second time that we've hit it. And uh, we need to get that above that 9720 area for a breakout. But we hit that and then we started to back off. And that tells us that we're just still in this trading range. When you look at that euro and it goes down to that 111.85 and doesn't break down any more than that, it just cleaned out the stops of the past two weeks and then reversed. And then last night, you know, you had that 61% retracement right on Sunday Sunday evening, and uh, away it went to the upside. Uh, regarding the stock market, I put a video newsletter out this week because my Dragon software for voice recognition wouldn't work. I, I guess they've given up on me trying to break this Italian accent that I have, which I didn't think it was a too bad, but maybe I'm wrong. But we've got to buy a new Dragon and get it to work. So I had to do a video uh, newsletter describing what we were seeing. And, of course, the key thing was looking at all of the stock indices because on the longer-term basis, I mean, there's nothing there but, uh, you know, blue sky, it looks like. But if you look at them over the past two or three weeks, there is a topping pattern there that appears to mean there might even be having a down day. But when you have – when you've made all the money um, – in March, that uh, in April, that you made in March. In other words, the the stock market has already gained in the first five trading days of April more than it did in the 22 trading days of March. That's a really strong market, folks. Now I know that's how tops are made and that's how bottoms are made. But what I do is I go down to the smaller time frames, and usually it's a four hour, and I can see if I can find some patterns there. And I found some patterns. There's a whole lot of you know, A, B, C, D, uh, three drive to a top patterns in all of the stock indices. So that's all I was looking at. Whether it works or not, I don't know. But all I know is that the risk is extremely strong at that level. You know, you are small. You don't have to worry about it. Okay. Anyway, uh, by the way, Mr. Z, they have a restaurant in Terre Haute, Indiana. It's called uh, uh, Cafe Bosco Pesavento. It's named after my father's uh, oldest sister, Valerie. And Aunt Val, she passed away many, many years ago. And her grandson is the uh, is the uh, one that does it. My my mother was very, very close to my Aunt Val. And when she passed away, my mom basically uh, helped uh, raise uh, Barbara and her daughter. And then Barbara had uh, Joey, who's the one that runs the uh, restaurant. It's quite popular, I'm told. Uh, it's out of my price range because all the wine is more than $5 a bottle. And they don't even serve wine in the box, if you can believe that. I never heard of a restaurant that didn't serve wine in a box. But uh, he's a actually a very uh, accomplished chef. But if you ever get to Terre Haute, it's down there on South 7th Street. It used to be Simrel's Italian Pizzeria when I was there in the in the 40s and 50s. And that's where I learned how to dance, was in that restaurant. It's, uh, it was a little... Uh, a little pizza place when we had a jukebox and would listen to uh, Elvis and Jerry Lee, and we I learned to dance there. Anyway, and I, that was it. I never danced after that. Anyway, we'll take a look at some of these other things that we're watching. But the bonds, folks, uh, we've really got a uh, a really interesting situation in the bonds. You're going to find out whether they're bullish or not. Uh, I believe this week uh, we had that 61% retracement up there, as you can see. Up at that uh, 150.22, uh, we broke down to 146.30, uh, I believe. We rallied up to 148.07, and I'm watching to see, you know, what's going to hold here. The 382 on the downside was violated by about four or five pips. We went to the 50% level, but we've been down eight days, so the bonds are due to rally. But if they don't rally... And if they don't, that's going to confirm that this is a major high, boys and girls, just like we're looking at in uh, crude oil and a uh, whole bunch of other stuff. You know, if you believe in 618, 
And I certainly do uh, with all the patterns that are coming in there. That's it. Folks, remember, I, you know, I don't want to re repeat. Well, I am going to repeat it because it's important enough to repeat. I, I am not a fundamentalist. I, I don't, I have not had a Wall Street Journal in my house. I haven't bought one in years. Same th with Barron's, Financial Times. Uh, investors business daily and I got those free for years because uh, my my daughter was dating it was her first date was with Bill O'Neill's son they went to the same high school so I used to get those newspapers for free I just never read them I remember I remember the time I was in Dr. Noblet's office there in Indiana and uh, he said <laughs> he, he said could you go out and get me a Wall Street Journal from one of the other professors and I said I didn't think you read those things he said no I said I needed for the lining of my parrot's cage <laughs> that's a true story anyway let's move on uh, to uh, the next thing we want to look at here. Uh, I don't, you know, Mr. Z, I don't even look at the, he's asking a question about the racing news. No, I don't even do that. Not at all. Uh, all I do is I watch the tote board. When I go to the track, uh, I have three people that I've trained to be professional traders that are professional gamblers. They all did the same thing and they, they, their, their whole premise was follow the money. And if you stop and think, when you go to the racetrack, the racetrack takes 16 and two-thirds percent right off the top of every bet you make. So what happens is everybody starts betting, and by the eighth and ninth and tenth races, you know, all of the people usually are losing. So what they do is they start to bet on the long shots to try to get their money back. Well, when people bet on the long shots, it means that the favorites in the race are underlays. In other words, they're paying a bigger price than they should. And so these fellows would look at the tote board to find out which would be the best value bet uh, on that. And they made money consistently. And when I go to the track, that's one of the things that I look for. I still do it. I still play two or three horses a week at Gulfstream because I make a little money at it and it's really fun to do. And I, I really, and I had a couple of really big winners uh, in January and you know, that makes up for the whole year. So we'll see what's going on here. Oh, there's the whole thing about the restaurant. Shut the front door. Very good. Thanks, Mr. Bill. That's really good. Yeah, that's the whole thing about the restaurant. That was for my Aunt Val. Anyway, let's uh, – oh, I got another funny story about that. I should tell that story. Nah, I better not. I'd get in trouble. Yeah, it's a little boy story, so who knows. Uh, yeah, I guess I should tell it. <laughs> I get in trouble all the time. I'll tell that story when we get – I am going to tell it because it's about it's about my Aunt Val. And uh, oh, well, yeah, maybe I won't have the time to do it. I wouldn't tell the other stories about the racetrack stuff, so – who knows? I got to have help here, boys and girls. You guys are not helping me here on this show. And I have to prepare about an hour to two hours to get this ready. When I come on here and I got to talk for an hour, that's not good for the old cowboy. Uh, you know, I need help. Uh, so I need questions. I need uh, call-ins. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big Big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently
currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. I'm going to take a look here uh, at Bitcoin. I hope that, uh, gee, I guess it didn't, it didn't post. Let me get it up here, uh, trying to change the subject here. Uh, yep, that's it. That was the number, Bob. That was it. 36.85 was the number in the crude oil. It got there? Well, yeah, that's good. We'll see. All right, let's take a look here, folks, at uh, the Bitcoin. Uh, this is over, you know, since the uh, beginning of the year uh, and also in December. Um, we went from 19,800 down to 3,100. The ABCD structure on the long-term weekly came in at 3,800. We went below that. And then since that time, we've had higher bottoms, you know, ever since the beginning of December. So this is looking like we're getting ready. What you want to watch for now is the 382 retracement of this. So, hey, we've got Mr. Z on the line. Mr. Z, are you there? Yes, I am, sir. Instead of... Uh taunting you in the tiger's den i thought i would do so uh by uh by voice on the phone line thanks for uh, taking the call well god bless you for calling in what can i do for you um very specific question larry on the uh stock market the uh the s p index and its uh futures uh the june futures esm9 um as uh you and norm described last week a full moon came on um on Friday, and that is thus the, far high the, close. The, hmm? that, was, that was a new moon. There was a new moon you know, on Friday. It was a new moon. I'm sorry. Yeah. I wrote that well, down they, incorrectly. Yeah, my, once, my apologies. They're the, they're the same. They're just uh, turned around. That's all. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> well, a, let's put it this way. It was a lunar cycle. Anyway, there you go. Um, so, uh, so it was high close for the year and high close for this rally. And uh, so we could, uh, you know, we could short against that with our eyes closed uh, uh, with tight stops, uh, which I did, by the way. Um, my question is, can you elaborate using your charts what level we need to break underneath to tell you uh, the odds are very high we have, we have uh, witnessed a change in trend rather than just another pullback and higher low that gives way to higher highs? Well, the only level that I could look at, uh, Mr. Z, would be a retracement from those lows we made in late March. If I put this up here, we can take a quick look at it. That would come in uh, roughly at around uh, 2820. If we get below 2820, we're trading in, what, 2885 right now? If we right. get below 2820, then I'd say, yeah, there, that's probably that three drive uh, is in effect, but you know it's working a little bit right now. And what I do on these is when they get a 10-point profit in your your favor, I move the stop to break even and let her rip. You know that's really about all you can do. Right, and that's uh, the idea. 2820 is just uh, I'm just guessing. I don't have the chart work in front of me. Uh, it'd be a 61% retracement or something of this late uh, rally. Is that the idea? Yeah, it's a little below the 78% level. That tells me that, yeah, it's it's corrected more than it should have. It's also, it would be bigger than the bigger correction that we had, which was 30 handles. 
You see, that would be another right, thing. It's yes, making yes, I see it, what yeah. you're referring to on uh, yeah. Tiger TV, right. Yeah, that's what I'd be watching. Uh, very good. How does that, um, I know you had made a big deal, um, I don't know if you made a big deal, you, you mentioned and you showed uh, a couple of times in the past two weeks some cycle work coming from Bill Meridian and somebody else. Mm -hmm saying uh, statistically the probabilities favor rallies into mid to late April. Uh, does, does that weigh on your thinking at all? Uh, yeah, well, it did during that time because from the 15th of March until the 15th of April, uh, you know, it had a very, very positive bias. But we're coming into the, uh, the 15th of April here, uh, you know, next Monday. So we're, we could be a week on either side. So Mr. Z, all I'm looking at, Bill, John, all I'm looking at, all <laughs> no I'm looking worries. at no here, worries. I'm just, yeah, no, I'm just looking at the short-term trading patterns, all I'm looking at. No cycles or nothing. I just saw that there was symmetry there. The ABCD was correct. The 1.618 expansion was correct. I figured I didn't have to risk much last night, and that's why I sent out the video on it. And, you know, just like I, looked at the gold it was a very low risk at 1298 you know so that's all i do i look at those patterns and i frankly don't uh i don't have uh you know any other comments than that that's pretty much you know by what i'm talking about by the way i've got dittmer's book here i'll be seeing you pretty soon and i'll be letting you uh, take a look at it i think you'll enjoy it but uh, a lot of history in it so i think you'll uh, you'll get a kick out of it excellent i'll look forward to that i wanted to follow up lastly and ask you to pull up the daily chart on the copper market. And you know I've been trading this from the long side for, for a while now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the copper price has gone to, uh, I'll round it off, the 298 level. Mm -hmm. It's gone there um, four, if not five times now um, in the past month, maybe it's six weeks, I forget. And I'm just wondering if we surpass that, and we're, we're under that now, we're at 293, mm -hmm. but if we surpass the 298 level, is there a pattern that you're looking at that calls for significantly higher prices if we get over that level? Well, the 298 happens to be the exact 61% retracement on the weekly chart, and if we if we get above if we get above that, then we certainly would be looking at uh, you know higher prices. But uh, I, I think that the high that we made you know back in uh, late uh, 2017 at uh, 333 is going to be it for quite a while. That was a double top, and I don't think we're going to get any higher than 305 would be my guess. And, uh, you know, we've been rallying now for about 10 weeks, and it's due for a correction. So that's going to tell us where we are next, I think. Uh, excellent. I appreciate that input. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll share with you uh, my view. I'm guessing if we get over 298, I'm frankly guessing we're going to get back up to that 335 high that we, we, that we put yes. in place last, uh, last fall or last – it was spring of 18, um, I, I forget quite when, but uh, that's my guess for what it's worth. And It's it's a good guess because that's a lot and, of strength. And, and, there, and you and I are just guessing that that yeah. is true, and that certainly yeah. doesn't pay the bills. Yeah. You know, anytime I'm worried about my guess, I make something up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> I will stand by that. Excellent. Good. Larry, uh, thanks All right, so John. much for your help. Yeah. And yeah, I thanks will for look calling uh, in. forward to seeing on the East Coast soon. Okay. We've got another caller, I think, from Florida. A dollar bill, are you there? I'm here, Larry. How are you? I'm good. What can I do for you, my friend? So, Larry, looking at gold, on the March 25th, it made a, a swing high of 1330, 1333. Yes. yes. And, uh, uh, and this is on the daily, I'm sorry, on the daily chart. Uh, and so... Uh, right now, it appears to be heading back toward that level. I don't see uh, I don't see what resistance there is in between where we are now at 1305 and that 1330. But I'd like your comment on that. And again, that's on yep. the daily chart. Well, what I'm looking at, Bill, is the 61% retracement from that high at 1321 that we made about 10 days ago. That 61% retracement comes in at 1309. So far, our retracement today was 1307 and a half. 
So if we can get above 1313, then we got a chance to make an ABCD pattern up at 1328. But right now, uh, you know, we're still, we, we had a little bounce come in here because we were down 11 days. That's all we're getting now is the bounce off that 11 day low. Okay. Very okay. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks, thanks for calling in. Really appreciate the call, Bill. Thank you. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, the, the crude oil did hit that number. We were looking at 63.85. It hit 63.87. I don't know if it's going to be the high or not, but that's a 61% retracement. Do with it what you like, but uh, very important number uh, to look at for sure. Uh, I don't have any guests this week, so hopefully we'll get some call-ins and get some good questions. I'm hoping to have Stan Harley on Wednesday, and uh, maybe on Friday we could get um, – uh, Rich Anderson to kick in and possibly Cy only, but Cy is extremely busy. His company was bought out by Farm Bureau, so he's uh, he's got to work for them for a couple of years, and then he's going to go back into private life. I chat with him every day. He's just got he's he's uh, like a one arm paper hanger. He's really busy. Okay, let's uh, remember, folks, that we have these short term patterns here in the stock market that we looked at in the newsletter this week. These were short term, they're based on over a four or five week period. Uh, question about coffee, cocoa and sugar. Sugar looks pretty good, uh, Ruby. Coffee has got to hold the, uh, the 60, uh, 170, excuse me, 91.75 level. 
That's where we bought it. It ran up to 95. I just put the stop at break even. Haven't even looked at it. Don't know where it is. Don't really care. But uh, I don't like to see it go down when you're long, but I haven't had a coffee trade for 45 years. So that's my first one. Um, so that's it. The, the cotton looks really good. It's looking, and cocoa's gone nuts. You know, we were looking at cocoa, and that was really a strong one. That was one that really exploded to the upside. And we probably should end the show on a really positive note, showing you what that cocoa did, because uh, it really took off, which was a heck of a heck of a move. It went from 2150, it's up three handles, which is, uh, that's three large. So that's a pretty good one. But we're watching the sugar. It's still holding okay. The $64 question is whether the cotton's going to hold up. Excuse me, the coffee. The old Joe. Anyway, we're going to be here tomorrow at the same time at the offices of 100 South Broad Street, Duke and Duke. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And do something.